What's up guys, welcome to another video. Now if you've been following the rumor mill at all, you know that one of the biggest problems facing the S23 lineup of Samsung phones is slow shutter speed. So when you take a photo, there's a short delay between when the shutter goes off and when the photo gets taken. And that can be a problem when you're trying to take pictures of maybe cars or you have kids running around, it could end up being a blurry photo. So today I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. And you can see just how much faster that is. So let me show you exactly how to do this. All right, guys, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do to fix that shutter lag is to go to your Galaxy store and install this camera assistant application. Once you've got it installed, you can go directly to your camera app, go to this gear icon up here and scroll down until you see this new feature that says camera assistant. Tap into here and then you'll see this feature here that says quick tap shutter. And what this will do is take a picture as soon as your finger touches the shutter. So you're gonna wanna enable this because by default, the way the camera works is if I turn this off and show you when you take a picture on your phone, you can see it takes a picture. I held that too long in the enabled video, but it will take a picture only once your finger lifts off of the shutter. But if we change that setting back to uh, quick tap shutter, now you can see that it will actually take a picture as soon as I touch the shutter speed. So it is going to be a little bit quicker. Now we're gonna go back into those same settings, go to camera assistant and then go into capture speed and set both of these to prioritize speed. And this will of course, as it implies, prioritize the speed of capturing pictures over the quality. So now when you go to your camera, you can take pictures really quickly and there's almost no shutter lag. Now, of course, I was a little bit worried about the quality of these pictures because we are prioritizing speed over quality, but I went out and took a few sample pictures. And to be honest, it's very hard to tell a difference, especially if you're just using the regular 12 megapixel camera. So I'll show you a few samples that I took. All right, so here are a few pictures that I took. The first in every series is prioritizing quality and the second one is prioritizing speed. So this one here was prioritiz prioritizing quality. The second one was prioritizing speed. And you can see that just by looking at this picture, even if we zoom in, as much as we can, you can see this light post right here. It's pretty clear. And then if we go to the one where we prioritize speed and zoom in, it looks pretty much identical. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference whether this one is more clear than the other one. Then if we go over to this other one, you can see that they look very similar as well. So if we zoom in on this, this is the one where we're prioritizing quality and everything looks pretty good. But if we go over to this one where we're prioritizing speed, you can see that it looks very similar. I honestly can't even tell the difference between these two. They look pretty much identical. I then tested this by taking a 200 megapixel photo. So this one right here is a 200 megapixel photo that prioritizes uh, quality. So you can see we can get really uh, zoomed in here and everything looks pretty good. And this one prioritizing speed also looks really good. Very hard to tell the difference, but if you do look at the metadata of these pictures, you can see that the one that was prioritizing quality has a 55 megabytes of data, whereas the one where we're prioritizing speed has 36 megabytes of data. So there is a little bit less data in this picture, but unless you're really cropping into the photo or maybe doing some professional editing or maybe blowing it up and printing it, I really don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference between these two. They look completely identical. And I honestly don't think if you show these to anybody, they'll even be able to tell that there's a difference. So initially my conclusion was that to the regular person, there really is no downside of prioritizing speed. But then I took a picture of some text. So let me show you what that looks like. All right guys, so here we go. I took a picture of some text in a book and this picture is prioritizing quality, whereas this one is prioritizing speed. So, but, so they look pretty similar on the surface, but if we zoom in, you can see that the text here looks really clean and sharp and black. But if we go over to the one where we're prioritizing speed, if we zoom in, you can see that the text is a little bit faded and not as sharp. So there definitely is a difference when you're cropping really far in and you're looking at some fine text. Again, I don't think this is completely unusable. Like it's still pretty clear. This is still a really good picture. So unless again, you're really cropping in or doing some kind of professional editing, I don't think there's that much of a downside of prioritizing speed over quality. And on the surface, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between these. I think if you show this to any random person, they would not be able to tell you the difference. So at the end of the day, I think that if that shutter lag is an inconvenience to you, and maybe you have kids that are always running around and it's hard to take a picture, or you maybe take pictures of cars or you know street photography and there's a lot of moving elements, 
I think that increasing the shutter speed and prioritizing speed is not going to be that detrimental to you. Again, you saw in my examples, it's really almost impossible to tell the difference between both of those pictures. So I definitely think for those use cases, this would be a good setting to change. But there you go, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're a little bit more familiar with this feature and if there's any downside. Again, I can't really see that much of a downside between prioritizing quality and speed. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.